Tell me what I want, just keep searching on It's never enough, cup after cup, run after run I wouldn't give one if I could find a fall ha, ha, ha. Hey y'all so I am about to get discharged from the hospital. No, y'all didn't see the labor and delivery video. It was a lot that was going on. Um, I can do a story time if, yeah, I'll do a story time. Um, but yeah, it was a lot going on. So I didn't actually film my, why you hang up? Oh, this is my mother. You wanna be on it? They can't really see you, kind of. And she's holding the baby. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to do a video, um, a story time video of like how the labor went. But I'm about to be discharged. So the next clip, you're going to see me in the house. And then my daughter, my first daughter is going to meet my second daughter. I got to give them names. I don't know if I want to say their names. But how about C C and Yeah. <laughs> I'll think of something. But anyway, um so they get to the meet. My kids get to meet today. So kids. My children. <laughs> I got children but yeah so my children get a chance to meet today and I'm gonna film it so yeah okay move over some so we can come in right here right here take, take them off oh, okay. hey. hi mama hi 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 Come here, mommy. Give me a kiss. Come here. She is real. Hi, mommy. You see your sister? Mm -hmm. So you got one cat here. Say hi to your sister. Say hi. Look at the baby. Look. Can you say Look. Look. I'm sure I want to. Give her a minute. Give her a minute. Get around to it. Guys, okay, so I'm gonna do the story time on my labor and delivery. Um, it's not gonna be like a long story or anything. Um, it's like pretty quick. But um, so on the eighth of on the 8th of September, it was on a Sunday, um, that was my induction date, um, and I went into the hospital, I went, they put me straight in the room, um, and I ended up getting my IV, my daughter, she's starting to wake up, but yeah, anyway, so I ended up getting my IV, um, and then they came in, the doctors came in and they talked to me, let me know, um, the pros and the cons of course of um induction um thank goodness i had a natural birth um i was able to push her out i didn't have to get like a c-section or anything um so what happened okay so they came in let me know like all of the um the pros and the cons of an induction um okay, so then um they asked me they was like do you want the epidural before you know we do anything to get like your labor like started and stuff and i was like yeah that was the first thing i wanted because with my first daughter i had epidural before anything like i didn't feel nothing like i didn't feel no contractions and with um my second daughter i didn't feel any um contractions either because i got epidural before anything uh, because I remember last time I was like I didn't feel no contractions the only thing like when I was like pushing my neck was hurting like I kind of like pulled a muscle in my neck 
other than that i didn't feel not one contraction like at all um not even with my daughter that i just now had i did not feel not one contraction at all so me personally i would suggest if you don't want to feel like anything and you was to get induced um get the epidural first <laughs> okay so anyway um so that's what i got i got my epidural first and um yeah, so, okay, so this is the thing about the epidural, though, right? So, okay, so I got the epidural first, um, and I was, they let me know, they did, they did let me know, like, you know, that the epidural can, like, you know, cause you to feel, like, weird or, you know, um, a little dizzy, dizziness and things like that, whatever. So, they ran that past me already, right? Okay, so with my first daughter, I didn't feel like nothing. I didn't feel no, like, dizziness and nothing like that. Um, it was just more of my anxiety of me getting the needle um, that kind of, like, you know, messed me up a little bit. But as far as, like, me feeling, like, dizzy or anything um, with my first daughter, I didn't feel nothing. Like, as far as that, um, everything was fine. But this time, um, I'll say about, like, once they gave me the epidural, I'll say about, like, five to ten minutes between like five to ten minutes after getting the epidural when i tell you like i started feeling like weak i started feeling dizzy and i was just like i don't feel right like i just i don't feel right i feel like dizzy my daughter's starting to wake up one second Okay, so I basically was just like, you know, I'm starting to feel weak. I'm starting to feel dizzy. And um, my best friend, she ended up calling um, the nurse station because I couldn't even press the button. Like, I just was like not feeling good at all. And I didn't want to do too much moving because I didn't want to like pass out. Um, so she ended up calling. They ended up coming like right away. Um, so all of a sudden it started getting worse 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 i felt like i was like passing out like you know faster and like i felt like i was passing out um so um all of a sudden like i started getting like really hot so the the nurse came in then the doctor came in then um i think like two other nurses came in um and then the person that actually gave me the i don't know if that's an anesthesiologist i'm not sure I think so. I think they're called anesthesiologists. Um, um, but the person that actually gave me the um, epidural, um, he came in the room. Um, and, you know, they was like asking me questions. I couldn't really say much of anything, but I did like let them know as much as I possibly could um, that, you know, I felt dizzy. I was feeling hot. Like, I couldn't even really say that I was feeling hot. What I was really doing is like, you know, fanning myself. And then my mother like realized like oh you feeling hot like you need to be like fan so um one of the nurses i believe started fanning me i'm not sure if my mother started fan i'm not sure because i don't know i feel like my eyes was closed i could have closed my eyes i'm not sure but then at the same time i was trying to keep my eyes open everything was so blurry i i, I really honestly it happened so fast i really don't know if my mother was fanning me or if the nurse was fanning me doctor was fanning. i don't know who was fanning me but I was like somebody was like fanning me because I started like sweating like really bad. Um and um all of a sudden like they started like checking my vitals. That's the first thing they did. They started checking my vitals. Um and they realized that my blood pressure was dropping. And um they was like her blood pressure dropping. Um um and they said something about like 60 or 60, something like that. I, I really don't know because like I said, everything happened so quick and I was like starting to pass out. So I heard them say like, oh, it's 60, it's 60 or whatever. And then the um, the anesthesiologist, um, he actually, he like said something like, we got to give her something or whatever. So they end up putting something in my IV um, and it started bringing me like around, right? Um, oh, and also <laughs> when I was passing out, um, this is how I know for sure, like I was really going to pass out. Um, I literally peed on myself. Like, I couldn't even control, like, my pee. I couldn't control, like, if I was going to pee on myself or not. And you know, like, when you, you know, pass out, um, when people pass out, they usually, they do, like, pee on themselves. Um, their bowels, like, release. 
basically um so i did i peed on myself i could not control it i was just like i did like let them know i was like i'm peeing <laughs> like and i can't i can't control it like I'm, I'm peeing um and it was like you know um because and i didn't even have like a catheter yet because w they didn't have enough time to even put a catheter in i told them i want a catheter once i'm numb like all the way like because i don't want to feel the catheter um so they didn't even get a chance to like put the catheter in or anything um because i started passing out so quick um so yeah i ended up peeing on myself and i literally thought i pooped on myself but <laughs> they said that it was just like a uh, passing of the gas <laughs> like i didn't poop on myself um she checked um the nurse checked and she was like no you didn't poop on yourself like i thought i did i was like oh my gosh like i think i pooped on myself like and i kept saying i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and it was like no like don't you know apologize or whatever um and um what else happened oh as i'm like passing out all i can say is like jesus 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 because and i think i was saying like jesus help me jesus help me please jesus help me um i really felt as though like i was like going um and i know the only person that can help me is jesus um he's the one who put you know the the certain doctors in the room the certain nurses in the room everybody in the room that need to help me so i knew that i have to like call on his name um, like I was so like I was scared but then like as I'm calling on Jesus I'm like I know he got me you know I know he 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 got me I'm gonna be good regardless of whatever I'm gonna be good you know um but you know I was like trying to hold on to, like stay woke and alert and it's so crazy because as all of this was like going on all of this was happening um they said that my baby was doing okay like she was doing just fine like she wasn't her 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 um her heartbeat or anything and everything was fine it wasn't like dropping or nothing and it was like that's unusual because usually usually um like the baby heartbeat and stuff would start dropping and it was like she was fine throughout everything all of this they was like um how's the baby like checking on the baby and it was like the baby's doing good like the baby was doing fine um and it was like that's you know not usually the norm the normal because if the mother is like passing out and like going through her you know motions and stuff then is the baby is usually affected but she wasn't um which was good which was great um but yeah so i'm like literally like passing out the anesthesiologist end up giving me um whatever medication inside of my um what is it called my IV so um I started coming around I started coming like back you know around um and I was just like thank you thank you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus like that's all I could say like and I got to the point when I was like um when I was actually like calling out for Jesus to help me I got to the point where I couldn't even talk at all like I, I stopped being able to talk um and i just was like thinking in my mind like i was just saying it in my mind like jesus help me jesus help me jesus 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 um but yeah and i don't know it was just it was it was really scary um it it, it was it was scary um but yeah, they said that that was something that, um, that's kind of like it happens. Um, it does happen like when you get a, um, when you get epidural, that can happen. Like it's not something that they haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, I was just like, I don't know. It's just like, it's that, that really did scare me because I'm like, this didn't happen before. Like that didn't happen before, um, when I had my first daughter. Okay, so after that, I came back around. Um, I was good. Um, so yeah, anyway, so after that, what happened? I'm sorry, my mommy brain is just like, oh, I'm kind of like forgetting stuff. Okay, um, so after that, um, that's when I end up getting a catheter. Um, they end up like cleaning me off and stuff like that. Um, I end up getting a catheter, and then, um, and then I end up. So I got the catheter after that. Um, they wanted to do the balloon, but I was like, I didn't want them to do the balloon. Did they do the balloon? 
you know what i think they did i believe they did do the balloon um so what they do is like they insert the balloon you know inside of inside of you um and then like the balloon like get blown up or something like that i think they inserted the balloon i'm not sure i have to like ask my mother because I, I really don't remember i did contract pretty at a decent decent time um like fully like dilate at a decent decent time i wasn't in labor for like a whole day i went in at 8 p.m on the 8th so 8 9 10 11 so it took me three hours um to get induced um for them to actually like start like you know inducing me um actually no not to be induced for me to get the the epidural okay so for me to get the epidural it took about three hours um for them to start like that pro that process um so i can be induced um so at 11 and i 11 p.m on the 8th and i had her at about was it 12 about two it was about two almost three o'clock two almost three o'clock in the afternoon i think it was like 2 46 I think it was 2.46 in the afternoon um, on the 9th of September. So I wasn't in labor for too long. I wasn't in labor for a whole day, which is really good. They said that that was really good because usually um, when you're induced, you can be in labor for up to three days. <laughs> when they told me that, I'm like, because that was one of the things that they um, they let me know. They was like, so when you get induced, you can be in labor for about like three days. And I was like, three days? I'm not trying to be in labor for no three days. <laughs> so yeah, once, so anyway, so when it was time for me to push, they ended up checking me and um, they was like, okay, it's time to have the baby. Like you're fully induced. Um, I mean, you're fully dilated. You're fully dilated. So um, I was, I, I literally, I, it didn't take a long time for me to push her out at all. Like, it was probably about, like, five minutes. I literally pushed her out within about five minutes. Um, it did not take long at all. I was surprised because my first daughter, I was pushing her out for, like, an hour. A whole hour, like, an hour. <laughs> I, it, was a, it was a long time. But, yeah, this, this one was, like, really easy. Like... Um, I, it literally took me about like five minutes just to push her out. Um, but they usually say that your second baby, um, everything usually moves pretty quick anyway, um, for the second one. That's what they usually say. Um, and it did. This delivery was way more like fast. Like this was, this was a fast delivery. Um, so, okay. So anyway, um, as I was pushing, um, I didn't know because obviously I couldn't see, but my mother was saying that, um, her head was just like, just resting, just sitting and her nose was like smushed up against, you know, up against me, like as she's like trying to come out. Um, and my baby came out, she came out purple. I, my mother say blue. I say purple. She came out purple. Like she, like her skin was just like, like she lightened up but her skin looked like she wasn't breathing it scared me so so when she came out i was just like rubbing her back like rubbing her back like really quickly like the doctors and my mother was like push now because i couldn't see nothing but the um they was like like push well my mother was like push the doctors were saying like oh like you know breathe and take your time and then you push when i count to five and uh, and my mother was like just push push like you gotta get her out because she's like basically suffocating that's what she was um when she came out i didn't feel as though she was like breathing um so i started like rubbing her back like real fast real fast and she started breathing um but like i said her her skin color and stuff like she started like coming around she started like lightening up as, as soon as she like started like really like breathing um but yeah it was a pretty you know decent experience like I'm happy that she's safe and I'm happy that I'm safe and that everything you know did go well um even though we did have I did have a like couple of hiccups but you know I'm happy that things went well and we're safe and we're okay so 
yep yeah anyway so i will see you guys in the next video so she is cc remember i was saying like one is cc so she's cc this is the cc and then mama mama is with her grandmother um she come back today in about like an hour or two mm. but yeah mama come back today she spent the night at her grandma's house and Cece spent time with me. She did not sleep through the night. So I had to get some sleep today. Um, I got some good sleep. I got at least like two hours of sleep. Like she slept for a long time with me today. So that was good. You did a good job. You did a good job with sleeping today. Horrible job sleeping at night though. Just horrible. But it's okay. <laughs> that will that will be different that will change but yeah so anyway thank you for watching this video hopefully it was a little interesting um but yeah um see you in the next video